Welcome back, guys, to another roundtable. My name is Adam. I have Rusman. Hello. And Victor. Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us. And today, we're going to talk about the, our favorite websites that we use to research Singapore stocks. So we've done US, we've done Hong Kong. Some of you asked about Singapore as well. So we're going to talk about Singapore and uh, the favorite websites that we use for our research here. All right. So what's the first one? fitperson.com <laughs> <laughs> yes do, do check out our website yeah. as well yes. so some of you may not know that we may have a, we also have a website or a blog where we write about investing as well besides our YouTube channel so do check us out on fitperson.com we do share our analysis on Singapore yeah. uh, and US and Asian stocks and as well. we do provide some of the fundamental data like your S reads yeah. right uh, Malaysia reads and Hong Kong reads I mean those are quite useful information that yeah. you can use it okay mm-hmm. but uh, besides that of course we have the first one is going to be a SGX yeah so right? yeah. if you go to the SGX right uh, they actually have quite a lot of place you can look for right I think one of the first place that I always look when I go to SGX is the company announcement. Okay. Right. That's where you can go and see uh, what the company actually announced. Right. But of course, they don't have the same service as the Hong Kong alert where they will send it to your email. So you still have to physically go down to look at the company, what announcement they make, right? The in, in terms of like quarter results or half yearly result what, uh, or share buyback or anything, right? Mm. So uh, another one you can use is actually their stock screener. Right, and it's also under the securities and stock screener where you can screen out stocks based on certain criteria, right? So this, the good thing is, right, when you screen out the stocks, right, you can click on the company and they will give you like five years financial data of the company. So you can take a look, a quick and dirty way of like quick screen the mm-hmm. company, right? Then you go further analysis, right? And an- another place that I, I really like when I go to the SGX is I go to the IPO prospectors, right? So the IPO prospector is when, uh, when the company IPO they have, to sum- they have to submit a prospectus, right? Mm-hmm. And the prospector usually share very detailed analysis about the company uh, business and also uh, their industry and where do they stand in the industry, right? So that is a good place to get uh, in-depth research of the companies, right? But of course, if the company is listed for too long, then you won't get it. But if it's recent, I think maybe 10 or 15 years, you probably still can get the IPO prospectus. Okay. Right. So sgx.com, uh, I guess is the main website. Yep, yeah, everything, right. all our companies are listed there and they will do pro- and they do provide some fundamental data as yes, well correct. through the screen. Free. And all. all free. Yep. Okay. Yep. The other website that I find it quite useful is, uh, is the, this website called sginvestors.io. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. So this is the website where the, I don't know who is the guy behind it, but he seems to aggregate all the analyst reports Yes, correct. Uh, those are based in Singapore and then uh, they cover just Singapore stocks, yeah. REITs, right? And then he actually shared in the website and you can actually see that uh, those publication, I'm not sure it's allowed to publish there, but <laughs> you can share them. You can see them even if you're not a customer of Maybank or OCBC, you can see their analysis yeah. okay. from that and yeah. the analyst working in those uh, yeah. investment I program. think the person Super. running this website did a very, very good job. Yeah. Okay. I mean, a lot of times before this website, uh, even appear right mm-hmm. if you want to find analyst report you have to always consistently ask your stockbroker yeah, broker, yeah. Right? Yeah. and sometimes you may not get it right yeah. because your stockbroker may not have access to whichever another stockbroker's analyst report yeah. so analyst report is very good is because they already done the job for you they help you to visit the management they ask the questions you got the insight okay so when you read the analyst report you just want to read the insights but not the financial projection that they give right mm-hmm. so this guy actually you know Consolidate Maybe everything. he just signed up for all those brokerage accounts maybe, everywhere. Yeah. Maybe, 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 maybe he just got all the reports. Yeah. 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 Because to get a broker uh analyst report, you need to be the client of that yeah. Yeah. You know, investment brokerage house, right? Yeah. So that this is the website where you, you can go to, right? If you are looking for like analyst report in yeah. Singapore. Okay. They have coverage in Singapore. And it's useful because I mean analyst yeah. reports you don't have to follow it blindly, but like yes. it's like us. We we have our own insights on certain companies yep. and mm-hmm. analysts have that insight as well because they yes. have access to management yeah. they can meet them ask questions yeah. and then you kind of like get more insights into how the company is being run that's yep. right yeah. Yeah. so it's useful just don't need to pay attention to the target price yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean there's something that I don't really look at okay. except the insights that they yeah. actually deliver it's the, it's the is qualitative is data that you want yes for. Yeah. Okay. and the other uh, uh, this one is not really a website it's really a publication uh, it's more like a uh, journalism, I mean, for the which is called the the Edge, okay. right? So the Edge Singapore, they have also publication in Malaysia version. Okay, so this uh, publication they deliver it on a weekly basis. I think they go and interview the management, right? And sometimes they do a lot of uh, 
analytical thinking and then the analysis and they actually share it in their yep. in their articles. I right? think they release every Monday, right? Every week. Every week on, yeah, on every a Monday week. or something like that. Yeah. Then they consolidate the past one week, uh, whatever happened, right? Then mm-hmm. they put it in. So in case you're busy for the past week, right? They just summarize everything. Okay. Whatever happens yeah. in that publication. And that right. publication has the insider buying also. Yep. Okay. And uh, all the corporate action and the news. So I liked it, the fact that they actually cover mostly Singapore stocks for their, the edge, Malaysia. I think they cover Malaysia's uh, company. Yeah. Okay. So I think it's a, I mean, you, you it's, a, it's not a free uh, publication. <laughs> it's a paid publication, yeah. but you get quality journalism. Yeah. But I think it's, yeah. a, it's very essential it's if you it. want to invest yeah, in, in Singapore. It. Why? Because if you want to invest in Singapore market, you need to get a fair understanding of how the market works and how uh, each of the company, you need to understand the market in Singapore. So if you consistently reading the edge, right, you, you sort of get a feel like, oh, okay, so this is this company, so mm. this is how, or so this is how I look at, right? So they, after some time reading, right, you get a clear understanding of how Singapore market works, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, th- I mean, we just recommend it because there's no sponsor or whatever whatsoever, right? Mm-hmm. But it's just that we've benefited ourselves. Yep. So we thought of sharing with. Yeah. yeah. In your yes. opinion, this is, they are the best when it comes to journalism. Guess, journalism. Business journalism. Yeah. yeah. Yes, correct. Okay. I mean, yeah. we, we do. Market, yeah. yeah, we do have subscription to Business Time and Straits Times. Yeah, but sometimes they do cover some of the good article. But yeah. I think the edge. Uh, it's still edge over them. It has, the has edge. an edge. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. So the yeah. edge. So they they have, they have an online and print version as well. Yes. All right. Yeah. But yep. you guys get the the print. Or, I mean, digital the online copy. digital. Now digital we become yeah. digital. Yeah, it's yeah. all digital nowadays. Okay. I think another place we look at is actually this place called Value Buddies. Mm-hmm. Right. Value Buddies has been, you know, with, with in Singapore for I think long I can't time. remember how many years. It, since I start investing, I think they're probably already there. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So it's a very long history. I can't remember when I, they start. Right. So inside, right, not only Singapore stocks, but there's also forums talking about. It's basically a forum that talks about different country stocks, right? But of course. I would say that most people in there are Singaporean Singaporean invest- investor, investor yeah. right? So they you we go down there and you see the Singaporean investor talking about uh, commenting, right? There's, there's some of the people in there they they really do very very good analysis, right? Mm-hmm. But of course you still have to filter out because some of the comments are you have to really filter it out, right? Yeah, I think yeah. some I've I've read some of the uh, threads on uh, value buddies and some of the, uh, these posters are, are very experienced in what they do. I remember one talking about I think it was like. US as estate uh, taxes and all that stuff because he was familiar with that yeah. and then sharing his uh, I, I guess his expertise and all that uh, of course not he's not I mean he's not a lawyer or anything you know, but yeah. he was experienced with that so yeah. you have some very experienced people in there as well yeah, yeah most correct. of those people who actually uh, commented on the forum they actually managing their own money also, yeah. so they are quite serious yeah. so they actually uh, the discussion there I think I find it there's a lot more uh, there's, there's a quality yeah. in it yeah. so, so when you go into forums right mm-hmm. the first thing you need to do is to read most of the track Right and to look out for username that commonly keep appearing. Yep. Right. This is the first thing. Second is whether they giving uh, logical and rational uh, views about the invest yep. of the stocks. Mm-hmm. If you know right, then you you pay attention to to the way they when they post. You know. Yeah. Right. But those that you feel that probably is those not so those, quality. They're just right? hyping things just, up. Yeah, yeah, just hyping up. Just avoid, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you just look for quality users. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So one thing about this forum is that they are they are not the kind of quality that you get on the hardware zone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have seen some we of those have different companies. users for hardware zone. <laughs> yeah, it, it's different altogether, okay. right? Yeah. So the the things they discuss is really fundamentals. Okay. Right? Yeah. yeah. Not gossip or rumors or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess you get more serious, a more serious uh, yeah. batch of investors. Yes, yes, correct. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I think for I guess crowdsourced uh, again analysis. Yep. Value buddies for Singapore stocks is pretty much one yes. of the best yep. for forums. Yeah. yeah. Of course, the others besides the value buddies, I think there are some bloggers. I think in Singapore actually very prominent. There are a lot of bloggers. I mean, we are, uh, most of them are our friends also. Okay. Right. So we have investment mode, right? And we have AK, right? And then of course uh, a few others yep. that uh, even including Doctor Wealth. Again, so, so some of this uh, dollar dollar and cents as well. Uh, they actually publish some of the insights on Singapore market as well on certain companies. So you may want to actually also follow them. Okay. Uh, but if you are not familiar with any of them, you can just simply go to this uh, the finance.sg where you know. Uh, they actually aggregate all the websites of uh, bloggers, mm-hmm. right? And then they publish it and deliver it to you. Okay, so it's most like an aggregated uh, site where you can yep. find all the bloggers, comment, thoughts, okay, what they're going through. It may not be relevant to all the listed companies. Okay, sometimes they talk about their personal stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so just something to thin off. But it's good to you know, read around and then get more insights what is going on, going, going on with the scene. 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I guess in Singapore, we do have um, quite a vibrant uh, yes. scene when it comes to, I guess, in private individual investors yes. just wanting to write and share about their personal finance journey, how they invest. Yeah. Um, we, we are one of them ourselves. Yes. Uh, yep. We just <laughs> made it into a business. Yeah. Uh, but some of them are just really just writing for the passion about yep. you know, yeah. and investing. And some of them are very good as well. Yep. And so like this uh, aggregator, uh, finance.sg, the yes, finance.sg, yes, yeah. kind of like aggregates everything for you and then you just just yep. pick and choose what you just want to pictures. read yes and right. if there's, there's any many part- there's many bloggers out there so you just choose the one that you it feels that it resonates with your investing yeah, style correct yeah yeah and people is one of them yeah <laughs> so, so we are all we're part of the aggregation yeah, there yeah, as well yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah so I guess uh, that's what we have in Singapore as well yeah. because uh, I think a lot of information that you get is still through annual reports annual report. yeah. Uh, yeah. we attend the AGMs just kind of like self yes. suss out the management since we are here yeah. uh, but these are some of the websites that we use that are very Useful. Useful. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Okay. So uh, with that, I hope you found this roundtable useful as well, especially if you're looking at Singapore stocks and REITs. Uh, we use them ourselves. And that's pretty much it, right, guys? Yep. Okay. Yep. So my name is Adam Rosman. Thank Victor. you. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, if you have any questions about you know Singapore uh, stock research websites, do put them in the comment section. If you like this roundtable, please hit the like button. Always useful for us. And of course, uh, subscribe to our channel. Many more roundtables coming up and we'll love to see you around again.